back to our channel. I'm Nikki. And I'm Rachel and we are the Stitch Sisters. And we're back today with our second instalment of our Stitch Miss Party. <laughs> yes, hashtag Stitch Miss Party. If you haven't seen the first part, um, we are sewing party outfits and then we are going to have a, a live here on YouTube where we're going to encourage you guys to come and join us for some Christmas cocktails sometime around mid-December. Yes. Um, either with an outfit that you've made uh, for Stitch Miss Party or in the past. Um, or just in your pyjamas, we really don't we care. We really don't care. As long as you're there, we, that, we would love that. That would be enough. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll be announcing that date very soon. Um, but in the meantime, we've been giving you our kind of pattern pick. So mm. the, the most important thing is that we Ooh. need to decide what outfits we're going to make. Exactly. And there's not much time left. No, We've got to have to get a little bit of a move on if we want to get everything ready. Yes. Yeah, so. so it was kind of a last minute decision. We knew we wanted to make party outfits and then yeah. we thought, well, let's share it with everybody. Mm. Um, and so in order to fit in all the filming and the making, we need to hurry up. Yes. So the previous video was dresses and this one is all about separates. Yes. So if you're just not feeling the dress vibe or you've got too many dresses in your wardrobe or like Rachel has suggested that you want something that's a little bit more versatile that you can wear outside mm -hmm. of the party season then separates are maybe for you so yes. we're going to go through our top five picks each yes i'm most excited about this section mm -hmm. i think just because i do have lots of dresses i'm not against dresses at all it's just that when i look back over all the things i've made over the whole of my sewing time uh -huh. um sewing history i have made more dresses than, than anything. anything else but mm -hmm. they're also the thing that i rewear the least Okay. Um, I don't know what it is about dresses, but often I fancy a new one for a new occasion yeah. and for whatever reason. So they might get two or three wears, but they don't tend to get a lot more than that. No. Um, whereas when I make separates, I do mm. get a lot more wear out of them. Yes. Um, and also, I think dresses are the easy option sometimes, aren't they? Yeah. Because you can knock one up very quickly. And I'm not ruling it out. If, if no. time is tight, then that's... But then what's some, gonna happen. some separates can be knocked up as quickly as, as a dress. Yeah, some can. Not any of the ones I've chosen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, a couple maybe. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, let's get cracking. Should we tell you what our patterns are? Maisie, are you going to be a pain or are you going to stay? Are you gonna... Up, down. Well, I'll start. Going? Up, I'll down. start and then she can stay on she your lap have a now. For so a we've got our devices handy with us just so that we can look at pictures and that kind of thing. Yeah, so we like to see the details. And I haven't, we haven't shown each other no, these patterns. So I'm, these are all new to me as well. So okay so I'm going to start off with one that I think I'm probably um, most excited about Ooh. Okay, so saving it for the end yeah we'll go with the beginning so okay. I was thinking that this fiber mood Tulia jumpsuit Ooh. could be reimagined as a tuxedo <laughs> yeah okay so if you made it in a uh, in a it's suiting a it's a jumpsuit yes wow. but if you made it in a suiting but then you had a satin lapel yeah then and you put kind of satin stripes down the side of the trousers mm. you could make it a very funky all-in-one mm. tuxedo jumpsuit yes. which would be so original and so much fun yeah. I love the the little um, fold on the shoulder there that gives it that kind of more sort of 80s vibe but also a bit yeah. of structure i'd put shoulder pads in it as think, well to accentuate yeah. that even more um but mm. i don't think i'd go for like the standard black tuxedo i think no. that'd be boring i'm thinking um maybe electric blue <gasps> um or royal blue that sort of color yeah um but then to have that slightly darker blue so like in a suiting or in like a suiting with a bit of shine Well, on no, I'm it, thinking or... like maybe something like a crepe. So oh, I could use okay. something like a crepe back satin. Yeah. And I could make the jumpsuit in the matte side, the crepe side, and yeah. then I could use the satin side oh, for the clever. for the um, yes. lapel. I love a crepe um, back satin. So yeah, I, I just think that could be really, really fun. Mm. Um, I'm looking at it and I don't think it's structurally that difficult it's no. a complete front pair of trousers which happens to the be the jacket's attached. got a few bits of detail in it with the crossover with the band and with that extra kind yeah. of epaulette thing that's coming down but, the but front. they're just pleats it's just yeah the, you know the work's gone into it. cutting the pattern mm. you know once the pattern's there as long as you can read all the markings there's no reason mm. why it's not simple enough to recreate and actually it looks like it's a tuck in the front so you've got your fold and then you've yeah. got a tuck so that's literally just another fold yeah. that we're going to stitch in place. I'm pressed. Yeah. Um, so I think that that could be really fun. The only thing about it is that working with something like a crepe, yes. um, obviously pressing 
is going to be tricky. Um, yeah. So it will require a press cloth and might not be able to get enough heat to get those sharp creases in. So it might end up as a slightly softer version, but I think that could still cool. work. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But I just think as, as something that I had in my wardrobe for years, it would be completely yeah. original. And any time I fancied wearing something smart, but not a dress, um, it was still comfortable. Yes, yes, I think it could mm. be a winner for that reason. Lovely. So that's my number one, and one I'm probably most well, excited about. I'm going to follow you with my number one. It's not my favourite, okay. but this is my take on a tuxedo as well. Okay, cool. I've gone for separate. So I've yes. gone for a jacket, and I've gone for a pair of trousers, both from Vicky Sows. I know which one you're going to say before you even say, oh, it's that one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was really tempted by that one. Yeah. And um, I thought you were going to because she's got a short a cropped jacket hasn't yeah. she and I thought that maybe you would I prefer that. I much prefer the long line uh, so mm. this is Vicky Sows and yeah. you go down sweetheart go on it's the tr Hillary Trousers uh -huh. and also it's the oh where's she gone a Terry blazer yes so I really liked I love fell in love with the blazer first because yeah. I loved the lapel yes I loved the the way it's so cinched in the waist with that single button I think it's so dramatic yes. and I love the pleats in it I worked actually I think they're reverse darts because you can see them on the outside yeah. can't you and it's kind of created this piping and they've got and darts it, all over the back as well yeah but it looks like the so darts sexy. have just been done let me have a closer look yeah it looks like they've just been done inside out and it creates such a cool effect. Yeah, that it I, really does. As soon as I saw that, I thought, yeah. oh, that's genius. So that, and I like the slim line of it. I like the big shoulder pads. I like the whole thing. And then you've got to go with the trousers to match because they're, they're meant to be together. Yeah. So I've gone for both of them. And I was thinking as well, I was thinking a, um, well, I was thinking maybe velvet. Mm. I think I was maybe thinking... Like, you know my obsession with burgundy velvet yeah. from my childhood. Oh, I went, cause yes. Because I'm an 80s, an 80s child. Uh, <coughs> so um, I thought maybe burgundy velvet with uh -huh. like a black satin lapel yeah. and things like that. Oh. So that's my... It is a lot of work. It's an advanced pattern. It's an advanced make, making a structured jacket and a pair of trousers. Yes. But I did think if I wanted to go all guns blazing, then it would be something that would be really nice Yes, I, I've got a, a, a similar option I'll share with you in a minute, but I'm just yeah. having another quick look at the details to see. So I don't think, as as jackets go, I think this one could be quite simple. Yeah. It looks like... a few jackets. Yeah, exactly, but I mean in terms of time. Yeah. So it looks like on the front it's one piece and all the shaping comes from those darts. Uh, and so yeah. there's no princess scene. <coughs> no. There's it doesn't look like there's a side panel. No. Um I just need to get my finger out. If I want to do it, I need to pick it soon. I need to get the fabric and I need to get cracking. Yeah. Because, you know, two or three days of solid sewing, I could get both pieces done. Oh right, no, it does have um it does have a side panel on the jacket and it is a two part sleeve. Um That's but okay. but but it looks like it's it's fairly yeah. fairly simple as jackets go. I can tell you're excited by this one. Well, only because I really considered it myself. Yeah. I seriously considered it myself, but the only thing that put me off was the trousers. Oh right, okay. So the trousers are flat front. Yes. And they're uh, on the model in particular, they're very fitted. Mm -hmm. I've not made a Vicky Sose pattern before. No. I don't know how the fit comes out. No. And I'm um, and a flat front pair of trousers for me requires mm. a huge amount of adjustment yes and I just know that there is absolutely no time to do that no um, but even then I'm not sure they would offer me unless I made them in a stretch fabric I'm not sure they'd offer me the comfort factor that I would need at the yes. moment so um, that was what put me off put I off. loved I loved the trousers yes. and I loved it together yes um, but I just couldn't um, I couldn't see no. the trousers being very practical. There, right there was another pair of trousers that I fell in love with as well, and I wasn't sure whether the two would go together. And they were the Jacqueline trousers. So these are much more of a wide leg. Yes, yes. But I'm not sure if the fitted jacket and then the wide leg trouser, whether that would necessarily go. It was only because the two had been styled together, the slim leg trouser and the slim fit jacket. I thought maybe they are more styled together but i guess you can i genuinely think it's it's entirely up to you yeah um, i love them I'll as well i'll share with you in a minute although you can probably guess but my jacket and trouser combination mm -hmm. is a, a blazer and a wide well, leg share. trouser share with um, me now 
Okay, we so because I've done mine, we're all yes. good. Well, we might as well get all the blazer each and uh, tuxedo talk <laughs> out first. Well, uh, yeah. there might be a bit more of that to come. Oh, right, me. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the things that um, let me just find my pictures again. Uh, it won't come as a surprise to you. No, um, I made the Richmond blazer by yes. um, um, well, uh, memory wipe nearly. <laughs> um, I, I made a, I made the Richmond blazer recently, and yeah. I. Could not love it more. It was just yes. such a well drafted pattern with some of the best instructions that I've ever seen on a tailor jacket. Mm, I've got one cut out um, and started to Yeah, now. and I absolutely loved the mm. finished result. Mm. I loved the process of making it. Um, so, of course, when mm. I thought tuxedo, I immediately went to that. Yeah. Um, and then I thought, well, on the same subject whilst we're still in the Lee pattern yeah i've made and worn more with her portobello trousers we have. than any other trouser pattern absolutely um, and so, packed them to bits and sewn them so many times you could sew them in your sleep exactly so i just think yeah that i'll go for that classic yeah because it is a fitted blazer but it's not super fitted no um so i like that element uh -huh. um it is a single breasted um which mm -hmm. just makes it a little bit quicker and easier on the old kind of button bit yeah. at the end um but i was thinking a velvet suit um so i was thinking in a bright color so again I'm, i've got my head in kind of electric blue yeah or that kind of um what do you call that green um emerald green yeah yeah um or even a purple yeah um, i have been a bit obsessed with purple this year and my wardrobe is now significantly more purple than anything but then else, hot but pink would look lovely on yeah, you yeah cerise pink, pink anything like that red. so i'm thinking jewel colors but airing yeah. towards the more bright side yeah mustard um, and do you think about a, like a, a yellowy goldy mustard? I just don't think I'd get nearly as much as wear much wear out of it as yeah. I would do out of a brighter colour. Yeah. So I'm trying to think about the colours that I have a lot in my wardrobe that mm. would easily mix in with other stuff that yeah. I've already got. Because the idea of something like this um, tuxed suit, mm. and the reason why I am leaning more towards that than anything else, mm -hmm. especially as separates, mm -hmm. is because um, I know that if you want to be slightly dressed up, yeah. Then you can chuck on a tux jacket with a pair of jeans. Oh, a t shirt. And yeah. you'll feel. And trainers yeah. for the daytime yeah. or heels for the evening. Yeah. Um, but also with the velvet trousers, mm -hmm. you could chuck them on with a roll neck, with a jumper, mm -hmm. and that could be casual or smart. And I just yeah, know that I would get. And so, would be yeah, lovely. exactly. Yeah. I know I'd get so much wear mm. out of both of those pieces. So oh. that's why I'm leaning more towards those. But that's why the colour choice is so important. It's important, yeah. Because I need to make sure it's something yeah. that. Well, you keep talking about blue. You've mentioned blue twice. So I think yeah. if you go with blue, because yeah. it would suit you definitely. Yeah, well, and you I don't just... have. You've got few blue pieces in your wardrobe um, not as many as I would not like as many as you would like. the ones and, I've had I love and the blue things that you do have you wear a lot mm. so I think that would be the sensible choice yeah and you've got then got your uh, coral jackets you've got your red jackets you've got everything that will mm -hmm. go with the blue yeah and you're just adding two staples into your wardrobe in that solid color yeah so what I'm thinking is that I either um so it depends on how easy it is to find that fabric yes um, because it's the thing is the with velvet um it needs to be for a suit it mm. needs to be non-stretch Yes. But it needs to be a kind of lighter weight. Yeah. Not, I don't want to be making up upholstery weight velvet. Oh. Or even some cotton velvets are more mm. on the heavier side. Mm. Um, and I don't want mm. a heavy suit. I want something quite light. Mm. But at the same time, I don't want velour. I want velvet no. because that would be a very, very different look. Yeah. So if I can't quite find what I want, then I would be open to, again, going back to that crepe back satin option mm -hmm. and making a crepe suit because I know that I'd get a lot or of wear cord. out of it. A lot of tuxedos are in crepe. Or maybe um, cord? I'm not sure cord would be smart enough. Um, so oh yeah, I'm thinking velvet or crepe back satin. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and, uh, but yeah, if I can't, I know I'll be able to get whatever colour I want in crepe back satin. Oh, absolutely. If I can't get the right velvet, then yeah. I'll go for that option. Or if I'm panicking time-wise, we all know yeah. that velvet is tricky to sew with in the uh -huh. sense that the cutting takes longer because you've got to make sure you yeah. take the nap into consideration. Oh, the cleaning up after the you cleaning cut. up. You might as well have a hoover in the sewing room with you. 
because um, the only way you can prevent those fibres from getting everywhere is to literally hoover in between every piece, like cut, look, hoover the table. Yeah, hoover the table around <laughs> where you've cut. And even then you end up And hoover the fabric. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so if, when it comes down to it timing-wise, also yeah. you have to be careful, because I often sew with a walking foot, it um, just uh -huh. gives me extra stability, and it's yeah. easier to just leave it on my machine. Um, but walking foots can leave marks on the velvet. On velvet, yeah. Um, so it depends on... And, and mm. pressing is tricky as well. Yeah. Because um, you can't use any steam and you have mm. to use quite a low heat even on a press cloth, otherwise mm. you leave shine and that sort of thing. Mm. I'm not talking myself out of it. Actually, yeah, I really but love to do it, but it, it they're just tricky. depends on the I, time. I think that, that definitely what we're talking about, we're talking about making something which is quite special, yes. okay? So I've been talking about sequins, we've been talking about cords, we've been talking about velvet, we've been talking about crepe back satin ah, are you looking for your coffee yeah, i brought it coffee. round for you thank you but these are all trickier fabrics to sew with they take some preparation they take some extra time yeah and um, but if you know i think that's what's intriguing me about making something with one of those fabrics is i've not used a lot of them before and mm. i think it's just going to be worth it it just depends if we can find the we can choose what we want, yeah. we can find the right fabric, and if we can get it quickly and get it started, yes. it'll be fine. If, basically, if by the 15th of December or whatever it is that we're doing our party, mm -hmm. if I end up in a jersey boiler suit, you'll know I ran out of time. Mm. <laughs> it would still look fabulous. It would still look fabulous. And it would still look incredibly if, glamorous. If there was no sequins anywhere to be seen, you know that we ran out of time. Speaking of glamorous, this is a massive diversion, but it actually made me laugh a lot this morning. So on my iPad, I get this kind of in my top left corner, I get photos pop up. Oh, right. But yeah, the one that popped up this morning was when I used that Face Merge app and I merged you with Testy. <laughs> Should we go on to the next oh, one? Oh, I've just remembered oh. one other thing that's yes. really important that um, I totally forgot to do at the start of the video. Um, but I've been promising my little niece Ayla <gasps> for a while that when we film a video, we'll give her a special hello because oh. she's got our videos on alert and she never misses one. No. And she gets really excited. Oh, hi, um, Isla. So, hi, Isla. We just wanted to say oh. hi. <laughs> and, uh, and I hope you're getting to go to some parties this Christmas. Yes. Business. And I'm sure Mummy will sort you out a lovely party outfit. Yes, and she can join us in our live with her party yes, dress on. Oh. See, that'd be lovely. So, hi, Isla. Hi, Enjoy Isla. your day. <laughs> See you soon. Anyway, back to the patterns. Right, back to patterns. <laughs> right, so I've got, I think I've done my tricky one and then I am going to jump in with a uh, sequin one so we're back on sequins <laughs> so this is the uh, it's the Vogue what's the number V1506 and this is a sequin jumpsuit Ooh. oh hello because you know I love I quite love a jumpsuit yes, and I just and thought right in them. I just thought it would just be quite a simple it's two great big panels yeah. for the front two great big panels for the back there is a zip and there's a like a, a little stand-up collar kind of thing mm. that's going on so it's quite simple yes but fun. i do think it's quite stunning yeah so something that's can that's not a dress but is very very much still i'm here to party i think yeah. it would look amazing so yeah i'm assuming that it would be lined all right that would they would they automatically give you a lining option for i would imagine side? in my experience of the the uh, commercial pattern companies yeah. uh the 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 reason why they're quite specific kind of styles mm -hmm. um even when you get a pattern with multiple views um the fabrics that they've used in those views often have different instructions so if there's a stripe um, it will give you specific instructions yeah. for matching your stripes mm. um if it's a sequin i would imagine it gives you specific instructions for sewing with sequins yes which and will that help. will include helping you to trim the edges to yes. you know stabilize certain areas um you need optional swear words to use when you need to be that would be even better <laughs> um, i mean i can't say for every pattern no but generally if fork. very specific fabric is used yeah. then there are specific instructions for mm. using that fabric mm. right what's next so my next one is two patterns because okay. i'm thinking of it as an outfit that you would wear mm. together uh-huh so first of all let me show you this uh top from 
grasser. Oh yes, I've seen that. Did yes. Like that? So what it is that appeals to me is these deep pleats in the sleeve. Uh huh. Um, and this kind of squared off structure along with the cow neck. I think it's just really interesting mm. pleating. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I'm thinking if you make that. In, in the fabric and then in the same fabric make a pair of Esther pants yes from victory patterns again you've got this interesting folding and mm. pleating and I think if you wore them together as a faux jumpsuit yes it would look amazing yeah so I'm imagining that kind of green satin of the top <gasps> yeah and then the same in the trousers, in the trousers. So I'm thinking that if mm. uh, uh, together they would just make the most interesting silhouette. Um, mm. I love the fact that the top's not very fitted. Um, mm -hmm. And so again, you're not gonna have to worry about fitting and those kind of things. Um, but I also think for a quick project that would have a lot of drama, again, yeah. it's one of those where the, all the work's been done in the pattern cutting. So yeah. um, it will be an unusual shape. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just a case of you creating folds you and then you're effectively just you, sewing. You love an unusual shape. There's nothing you love more than getting a pattern out and it going, oh, what? Oh, yeah. that, ooh, yeah. look at that. I love, I love going, oh, I've not seen one of those before. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be really cool. But again, it would be really easy to wear those as separates. Because yeah, it would. You would. I think they're so interesting that you would want to wear them. That's yeah, the and I also think that I, I like the chain belt on the model in yeah. the in the um in the top pattern uh -huh. and i think that you could instead of the tie belt yes on the s trousers you could easily wear some sort of chain belt or something that yeah. just kind of makes it a little bit more interesting and they're crop trousers as well so you could wear a heel with them or something yeah to so the, the esther pants actually come in a, in a couple of different lengths okay so they don't have to be cropped but i do think that the proportions would be better if they yes. were cropped. I think you need that little bit of ankle yeah. so that the fabric's not drowning you. No. Because it's a high neck, it's a long sleeve, mm. um, and I think that if you were to have the full length trouser, on yeah. me anyway, I think it would be too much. It's too much on uncovered. someone like you, with your height, mm. I think that would look amazing, but mm. I think I would need a little peak of ankle to yeah. um, to just make it Softer, look more. Bit. Yeah, exactly. Like mm. I was wearing it instead of it <laughs> I love that option they're really cool and yeah uh, we like victory patterns we've made a couple of their patterns before haven't we yeah so I love the idea of it being in the same fabrics and being a faux jumpsuit but at the same time I also think it would be a, 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 it would work great if you had the same fabric but in two different colors oh yeah so again if you were to go for that satin look whatever uh -huh. kind of satin you chose yeah but if you had you know I don't know a cerise pink on the top and then a cobalt blue on the bottom or yeah or even two colors that are just tonally different yeah so you could have like pink and burgundy or lilac and purple or mm. those kind of things so that you're lighter at the top and dark at the bottom yes i think that could work really well as well mm, so nice. lots of options very interesting so my next one is probably my favorite if i'm running out of time yeah okay and i do think this is just the screen party again and it's mccall's m8047 but it's the jumpsuit. Ooh. So I'm looking at the one that's just a, uh, a sleeveless crop like bodice, which runs into uh, pants, mm -hmm. which are elasticated at the bottom. Yeah. And so I basically, I'm, I think it's basically like a, like a fancy tracksuit, basically <laughs> what I'm making out of. And but I just think it would, be, it would be awesome in, in like in a velvet or sequins or something. So you've gone for really simple, really comfortable, easy on, easy off. I don't know why easy on, easy off suddenly came to mind. But it's be wee, easy to wear, easy to dance in, easy to party yeah. in. Um, but uh, but the fabric would be the star of the show because there's not an awful lot to the pattern. Mm -hmm. And I just love that because I, 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 I quite like the idea of showing my shoulders off yeah, and absolutely. stuff like that. So I think that is probably one of my favourite options. Yeah, I think that's um, uh, that's a great option. And you, you uh, um, I love the fact that you're embracing showing your shoulders off because I know it's been... A, it's been an uh, issue. Well, it's just, <laughs> you've just had a bit of a complex about them, yeah. haven't you, in the yes. past, feeling like they're too broad. So I love yeah. the fact that I'm training them now, so like, I'm muscular. Do it, because yeah. that's clearly not the case. <laughs> no. um, it would also look great in a police sale. 
Yes, it was. So if you have, I know you like rose gold. I've definitely seen yeah. rose gold please see around. So that would look like a really nice colour because yeah. then it would have lots of kind of waft and drape. And it would, yeah. Yes. But I also thought brushed velvet possibly mm, yeah. as well. Or just something that, I don't know, just I, I just the fabric needs to be the star of the show. So yes, because it's simple enough. Simple but, enough, yeah. yeah. It needs to be... And it's, I think it's stretch, obviously. So obviously it needs, there's no zips. Mm -hmm. It's just basically a front and a back on the bodice. So front and back, yeah, on the trousers. And uh, and then it just elasticated top and that elasticated bottom. So mm. I'm all in for that, basically. Yes. <laughs> basically so when you said if pajamas. you end up in a stretch jumpsuit, then that's that is the one. <laughs> you have one in mind. I have one in mind. <laughs> this is my safety option. But actually I think it is my fun option as well, because I think... I'd, I don't know, I think I would feel really comfortable in it. I'd still feel really glamorous in it. Yes. And I'd feel kind of party ready, but in the right way. I want to feel, I don't want to be kind of like tied up in a, in a dress that's too tight. I want to be comfortable. Yeah. And, I'd, and I, there's, so there is a bit of comfort that for That was me a as great well. one for dancing. Yeah, it's a great one. Bit, pair, of, pair of sparkly heels. And off you've got Kicked a big off hair. To your side. Big Kicked hair. under a table. <laughs> Little clutch, <laughs> yes. which I've abandoned at the bar somewhere. That and and that's perfect. it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so that might be my favourite if I decide not to go down the dress street. It's I good to have some is. easy options. Yeah. So in my dress one in the previous video, I had that one with the little uh, cami yeah. spaghetti straps that was just like a rectangle yeah. fabric underneath. Yeah. And that's the same. It's all about it's fabric all, yeah, choice. Absolutely. That's what makes it glam. The, the other pattern one. itself is simple. The actual the actual pattern that's on the front is very nice as well. Okay, so that's a Lurex fabric. So that's a Lurex. That would work really, really well too. Yeah. yeah. So I just like the shape of that. I like, And again, I really like the fact that you've got three really cute options for this pattern. So I like this I like the main pattern. I like the little kind of play suit, although I'm probably a bit too old to be wearing a play suit. But yeah. um but you know you could you could make that a bit longer and turn that into like a culotte length yeah. or something like that or skirt length. Um and then so I think it's a really good pattern. You get quite a lot of value for money out of yeah, it as well. Absolutely. So that's my I think that's my top pick. Well it looks like it's one of the um McCall's create your own look patterns. Oh yes two so, plus five. Yeah so I think the ah. idea is you can mix and match tops and bottoms to kind ah. of create your own look. So so I could um, create the so the two is obviously the you could have that crossover top. top with the bottom part yeah. of the jumpsuit if you prefer that. Or um, have the cr have the sleeveless top with the wider leg trousers if I yeah. wanted as well. So my next one is um, another kind of double, um, okay. which again aren't necessarily don't have to go together, but obviously uh -huh. um, sometimes for a party all you need is a new top or yeah. a new pair of trousers. You don't need the whole outfit. And no. I think these could be styled together, but they could easily be styled differently. Mm -hmm. So the first option for the top is this um, Chloe top Ooh, um, yes. from uh, Fiber Mood. So all of the pictures on the website are styled like this. Some are on a beach and whatever uh -huh. else, but I'm env envisaging this reimagined in um, something like a, a pink silk taffeta or a dupion or something like that, something yeah. crispy, yeah. With lots of structure in like a cerise pink yeah. and, and really kind of emphasizing that bow there. So Ooh. where they've left that quite flat, yeah. I would poof it up Massive. and make it, yeah. Esme style, which is yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> make the bow the feature of the yeah. top. But I love the simplicity of it. I love the fact that um, it's the one shoulder and mm -hmm. um, that the bow would give you lots of drama, but also because it's just a very simple gathered top, uh -huh. then it would be really comfy. Nice. And I think you could wear it out loose like that. And if you're wearing it loose, I would opt for a more slim leg pant, like mm -hmm. a cigarette pant or something like yeah. that, a tapered leg. Um, or you could have it kind of tucked in um, to a wide leg pair of trousers. Yes. Right? But I just think as a simple make, yes. um, but you could definitely make that very, very evening wear. Yeah, um, and, just by the um, fabric choice. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Just have some fun with it. So the to go with that, not necessarily, but just as another very versatile kind of bottom, uh -huh. um, I found a new pattern maker called Ambitious L. Ooh. She's got lots and lots of patterns. Um, you can buy them on Etsy, you can get them on um, 
Wisso, and I think you can even get them on the make list as well. So, uh -huh. um, nice. I think cheapest on Etsy. <coughs> um, but um, I, it's just a very, very simple pleat front mm. trouser. Um, I love the green velvet that mm. she's done here. If I could have, like, I couldn't get a pattern for that top. If I could have got a pattern for that top, then as an outfit, I think that is killer. Yeah. And if you weren't comfortable enough to just wear your bra underneath it, mm. then you could just make a little black cami to go mm. underneath it instead. But if you made that in like a stretch lace, which was slightly more covering, slightly more covering and yeah. less um, opaque, yeah, that would also look absolutely yeah, stunning. Yeah, so If you're a bit more conscious of it, yes. Black Although lace the top lovely. isn't available as pattern, yes. so that's just what she's used to style it. But I, I love the, the the green velvet of the mm. trouser. I love the idea of a pleated trouser. Mm. And obviously, I could just do the portobello's, of which course. is the other pattern that I was considering. But what I actually like about these is it's kind of not quite tapered mm -hmm. but not quite straight either mm -hmm. they do if you look at the volume of the hip compared to the width at the bottom mm -hmm. they do look like they're slightly slimmer than straight yes or maybe just straight leg but they certainly aren't wide at no. the bottom and that's just a, a shape that i don't have mm -hmm. um but i think a straight leg is really uh versatile it is um, yeah. and, and works for lots and lots of people Right, my next one is uh, is a suit. Mm -hmm. So I've gone for the Liberty Florence Palazzo suit, mm. which has been out for a little while, but I do like Liberty patterns. I, I'm not so keen on the ones that have come out recently, but I do I do, do still hanker back to that first volume launch, that yeah. came, first launch that came out, and I made the Beatrix dress, and I love the shirt, and I, so I, I have always liked this, and have wanted to make it for a while. It's a wrap jacket mm -hmm. so where it looks flat fronted at the yeah. front is because it's wrapped and tied around at the back uh -huh. um, and then you've got these wide palazzo trousers so it's more of a crop jacket again i'm thinking i do actually like it in this patterned yeah velvet so i, I do i think because the lines are simple enough that you could mm. go a bit mad with the fabric and yeah. go a bit wild and you can get loads of patterned velvet mm. these days lady mccallroy do loads well i was also thinking perhaps corduroy so like a baby cord or something like yeah. that would be really fun because i wouldn't need to worry about a top underneath or something like that I, so i don't know it just depends this one really depends on the fabric the fabric would need to sing to me yeah um but i do think it's a gorgeous and then which, got, which of the jacket views are you Liking. I like the actual the the long sleeves this yeah, one. Okay. So the traditional kind of I like the simplicity of the sleeve. Yeah. I think that perhaps the voluminous sleeve might just be too much for me with the wide trouser. Mm. Um so I really like the simplicity of that kind of fitted top yeah, yeah. and then coming down to the wide leg, the drama mm. of that. I yeah, like the silhouette. Yeah. I I love C with the flared sleeve. That one. Um and the bow at the, at the front. I yeah. I love I love having it tied that way with a wide leg and, and, and I would imagine it in a in a crepe or something or maybe yeah. a chiffon sleeve or something. Maybe like I could that. make the short version. I could make shorts. <laughs> make it all in a velvet, burgundy velvet, and oh, recreate my childhood. Absolutely, burgundy you velvet shorts. You look brilliant. <laughs> Get my legs out for a yeah. change. That so this is again. This looks like it's in like a a twill or like a, a like denim or something yeah. like that. But I just it's like that really yeah. fitted waist. Yeah coming down into the wide leg. So that, again, is more time consuming. It's making two things. Um, I think the trousers would be fairly simple, mm -hmm. but the, the jacket, it may be quite simple. I don't know. We'll see. It will depend. Yeah. That's definitely more of a make, because I'm making two things which are both yeah. a bit more time consuming. Yeah, although I, I do think that's a really, really uh, versatile pattern, mm. and I think it's good value because you've got the two styles of jacket um the two, two different top halves and then you've yeah. got the, the shorts and the wider trousers mm. um and obviously because the all the width is at the bottom on the shorts and the trousers it's important to have two different patterns because if you just shorten the trousers to short length yeah you wouldn't get be a slim trouser instead of a flared yeah. trouser so yeah. i think um i think that's a really nice pattern mm. yeah this is the last one Ooh. um so um i've done um a kind of more uh, casual styled jumpsuit okay um and i've 
had s several separate. Uh -huh. So this is more of a glam jumpsuit. Well, like a glam jumpsuit. And again, I'm taking... Is it like glam rocker? Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking on this big bow theme that seems Ooh. to be... I seem to be drawn to low backs and big bows. Nice. And this is a Vogue pattern. And this is the V1708. Oh. And it's a wide leg jumpsuit, which has this amazing big bow right at nice. the centre. Now, I'm wondering whether having that bow at the front there yes. is uh, going to be uh, a nice way to kind of hide an area that you don't really want to show, or whether it's actually just going to be weird to have all that bulk at the front. So I'm wondering about the possibility of actually having the bow on the back, yes, um, or whether you can actually switch it around. But what I love about it is, I mean, in this fabric, it does look great, but yeah. I think that um, I would be more inclined to go for a, um, a simpler pattern for yes. a plain, yes. just because I think it would really, really show it off well. And I'm also wondering about a colour blocked version. Mm. So if you imagine solid colours, especially in all these dual colours that I'm obsessed with, yes. and if you imagine that the top is one colour, the trousers are another colour, and the bow is a third colour, yes. I just think the way that the bow wraps over, wraps yeah. over the front there, um, I just think that could be <coughs> really... Really Do you know what, stunning. Can I you could even harlequin it and you could have one half of the top one colour, <gasps> yeah. the other half the other, reverse that on, on the, the trousers. trousers and then have the bow. Nice. Um I would go I I would be conscious of the bow. Mm. You know what I'm like the things that don't go around my front. It's just <laughs> not it's not a thing for me. But I love how high that is, and I would wrap that at its width, yeah, like a cummerbund. Mm all the way around yeah well and that's I think what i'm thinking was, even if it comes that way if you yeah. just crossed it over at the front and yeah. then tied it tied at the it back. in the back you would get um, this but it would give you this kind of flat panel at the front again which would be great yeah. for the color block but options. yeah but again it gives it that kind of cummerbund mm. um tuxedo, tuxedo look yeah. style yes yeah. so I it's think... like a extra feminine tuxedo with the very slit front the sleeveless and the very wide trousers yes i love it exactly so, so there you go that's all of mine Ooh, let's hear your last my one my last one so my last my one my ipad I... battery just survived <laughs> So my last one is a new look pattern and it's new look 6242. Ooh. So this is an option if you, and I'm, t I'm doing this as a tick box exercise uh -huh. because I've never made a corset. Yeah. I've never made anything with boning, anything like that. And I've always wanted I've to. I've got loads of boning. Yes. So I've got, it's there if I need to do it. But I did think it was a nice little option as separate. So I like the wide leg trouser. I wouldn't probably wear it with the skirt, but I did think you've got some nice corset options there. Yeah. Um, and thought it would be, you know, it's the season to be making something like that. If you've got a fancy do mm. to go to. Yeah, um, they're massively on trend at the moment. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If all over TikTok, you've got people wearing TikTok. corsets corsets and stuff yeah so which view would you be thinking i do quite like um i think i just quite like the simple one i think yeah. i like a either a or b with mm -hmm. the little uh the little sweetheart neck yeah um i would go simple i do like a halter neck mm -hmm. um so that's another option but i think maybe just because it's christmas yeah and because it's a glam thing i think it's extra glamorous just to have my shoulders out. Look, the amount of patterns I've picked from my, me having my shoulders out. I know, it's, it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> but I mean, the whole set wouldn't stop you from having your shoulders out. No. Um, what you could do, because I'd imagine that the, the halter strap is going to be fairly interchangeable. Yes. Um, and it's one of those things that you could you could have one ready uh -huh. and it's there if you, you know, need, if you feel like yeah. once you try it on, you need that extra support. Yeah. Um, or, you could even put it as buttons. So yeah. button it to the inside if you want it. Yeah, or even it if it was out of something really kind of uh, light, it could just be tucked down inside. If yeah. You want it, so sucked um, in. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you know you've been on the dance floor and your corset's going down and down and down, and you're sick of doing this. Yeah. You'd be like, right, it's time for the whole snap. <laughs> yeah, just whip it. <laughs> Strap <out>. me in. <laughs> So I did think that was a really good option. And New Look are a really good pattern company. And I know that they would 
take you through the instructions really well step by step mm -hmm. so I feel as if it's kind of it's maybe a bit too fancy for some people but it's definitely something I want to make at mm. some point in my making life um, and so it is an option for me this time I don't yeah. particularly like the fabric that they've sewn it in no, or anything it's like very that old it's fashioned, very old-fashioned it's one of those you have to look beyond the picture yeah um, so you know I'm thinking satin trousers but I'm thinking a dual color or bright red or something mm. like that so just thinking outside the box when it comes yeah. to the actual thing I think it'd be nice to have that kind of um so let's say you had a satin print on your corset yes um and then whatever trousers you made you could like a tuxedo have a ribbon of the, that fabric down, outside. down, down yeah. the outside of your trousers and yeah would tie it all in the only thing that concerns me is that how excited I was about the comfort of the previous jumpsuit. Yeah, there's nothing comfortable so about a corset. there's nothing comfortable about a corset, but I think I've included Unless it. Unless you've got someone to keep coming to the bathroom with you and loosen yeah. it. No, <laughs> I, my husband's not willing to do that. Although so I, I'm pretty there. sure with these... Um, Are they zipped Yeah, the, there's no adjustment on them. Um, there is on C, but the, that's on the front. But yes. on the back, um, it looks like it is zipped in. And, yeah. Um, and yeah, so it is the size it is. You can't adjust no. it once it's on. I think the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking it's probably too restrictive. So I've included it just because it is something that I want to make. And it is the season for it. Yeah, so, and um, it is on trend. And it is on trend. And so if, if not this year, maybe next. Yeah, and I'm sure there'll be some people out there that just think, actually, I always wanted to make a corset and I yeah. can't see any reason why I shouldn't and you've got a matching skirt and a matching pair of trousers there yeah so you've which got even the whole outfit right for that might be good for something else mm. although I'm thinking the skirt option could be quite cool if it was made in a chiffon if it was a sheer skirt yes um and then you had uh you made a little pair of shorts or hot pants or something to uh -huh. wear underneath it that yeah. kind of matched the um the corset and then yeah. you had that chiffon skirt so it's not you know it's not mm. like uh it's, it's intentionally see-through yes you know what I mean um, that could I think that, that might be a bit too much for a work do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah. Not and not my work. I'm do. My husband's work do. I'm designing for a brothel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for a can can girl, <laughs> or for or for the the stage or something. Not yeah. so not for me going to my husband's work yeah. do. Especially since the first thing that popped into my head in terms of styling that was a pair of little Victorian heeled boots. So clearly I had a top hat. <laughs> Have we gone on Moulin I've Rouge? I've gone Bilette, Bilette. Yeah, I've gone a bit too, um, yeah, sorry, steampunk. Steampunk. I, I'm thinking top hat at a slight angle. That's that where we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's it. So you've got 10 dresses in the previous video and you've now got 10 plus patterns for separates to mix and match to yeah. make some amazing Christmas outfits. Now have you got a hunch at this stage of which one you think you're going to go for or do you need some, not that we're going to share that now, we'll mm. come back when we've got our fabric and show mm. you our final choices with the fabrics that yeah. we've chosen but are, are there, are, is there a short list at least? There's, I've got a short list of my dresses mm -hmm. and I've got a short list of my separates. So if I tell you it's either between dancing the night away in full comfort or full test daily. Right. That's, okay. That's me. That's where I'm thinking at yeah. the minute. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yes. What about you? Uh, no, I don't. Well, I've got a couple. I've got a couple yeah. of favourites. Um, but I've also got a couple of backups. And mm. so it will just depend on whether mm. I can get the right fabrics and how much mm. time is available by the time the fabrics arrive. Right. I think we need to put a date on this. Because yes. you and I are a Well, I think bit... we need to make a decision and order fabrics this week, by the end of this yeah, week. I Otherwise think, yeah. Otherwise we're going to run out of time. I think we need to decide the patterns, mm -hmm. and we need to get the, pa the patterns and fabric ordered this by, week. by Friday. Yes. End of play. Okay. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> there was no actual submission. We're committed that there was no submission. <laughs> that was done in a very COVID-friendly way. <laughs> So, you get on and have a look at you, some patterns for yourself. Yeah. We really hope you'll be able to join us and we will come back with our pattern picks and our fabric picks and more details as to the date of the actual live and when yeah. we want you to share stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And even though we are going to make the decision ourselves, we want it to be something that we love. So, we're not going to be influenced too much, but do please feel free oh, to yeah. comment below and let us know which of the patterns are your favourite. Yes, we know you love um, telling us which ones we want us yes. to make. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Excellent. So we will be back very soon with a third video, hopefully, oh. where we'll be showing you our final choices and the fabrics that we've chosen. And yes. then the sewing can begin. And don't forget that if you want to join in, use the hashtag Stitchmas Party. Yes. And uh, we will be coming back to you with a date very soon of when we're going to do our live. Oh, Stitchmas Party's happening. Woo <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.